Welcome all, this is Madan. Today I'm going to talk about the CQRS pattern and uh, CQRS stands for Command Query Responsibility Segregation and it is a kind of architectural pattern here and we can use this in our .NET applications. So what is CQRS? A CQRS is a command query responsibility segregation and uh, it is an architectural pattern that separates reading and writing of our applications into two different models. This means that every model should either be a command that performs an action or a query that returns a data and uh, a command cannot return data and a query cannot change the state of the data. The query can only be used to read the data whereas the command can be used to change the state of the data. So we will understand this uh, briefly by looking at this figure here. So on the left hand side we have a UI and the controller that controls the UI and in our application we may have a uh, necessity or we may have a requirement to read and write data into the database to read data from the database and write data into the database and for that we may have several methods like get all get by id and uh, create update or delete and here the get all and get by id these methods just fetch data from the database so they fall under the query and create update and delete change the state of the data in the database so they fall under command so with CQRS, we can separate our application processing, the reading and writing into the two different parts. And even we can use multiple data stores uh, in the same applications. For instance, we can use one data store to read only and other data store to write only. If we do that, then we can highly improve the performance of our reading and writing. And uh, there is a way to achieve the CQRS. To achieve the CQRS, there is a pattern called mediator pattern. And uh, the mediator pattern is used to reduce the communication complexity between the multiple objects or the classes. And this pattern provides a mediator class. It is a mediator that comes between the multiple classes and which normally handles or it takes all the responsibility of handling communications between those two classes and provides very loose coupling in our application. And this mediator falls under behavioral pattern category. And uh, in our next demo, we'll be using mediate R library in our ASP.NET core to implement CQRS pattern Thanks for watching and if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe and share. Have a great day.